Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. Um, so today we're just gonna do a basic get ready with me. I haven't done one of these in a long time, I believe since I started my channel. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and just do a basic glam. Um, and if this is your type of content, feel free, you know, relax and we'll go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. Um, I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus three-in-one uh, primer here. Um, so this is what that is here. So we're gonna use that today. I'm just gonna set my face here real quick. Oh, that sprayer is really strong, but it smells so good. It smells like cucumbers. So. And I'll be using that later as I set my face once my makeup is complete. And then I'm gonna go ahead in. Actually, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch up the primers here. I'm gonna use the Milani eyeshadow primer. So that's the primer that I'm gonna use today. Switch it up a little bit. Oh, I think that was a little bit too much, but that's all right. And then of course, I'm gonna take my e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm just gonna blend that in on the eyelids. I actually ordered me a couple more of these brushes. These are the best brushes for blending in concealer on your eyelids or like even blending on your eye, blending under your eye for your concealer. And I just got done washing all of my makeup brushes. So I'm happy about that. All my makeup brushes are washed. Um, so we can go as long as I don't use up all of my brushes at once. That is my problem. I like to use all of my brushes within one setting of doing my face. So, um, and then we're gonna go, we're gonna use the LA Girl, the nudist eyeshadow palette. I got this not too long ago. I got this a couple months back. Um, and we're gonna play with these colors today. So that's the palette here. And I think I'm just gonna go in with a couple of these like peachy light brown shades and I'm gonna use that as my transition colors. And I'm just taking me a Wet n Wild blending brush. These again, these are some really nice brushes. They're cheap, I think they're like two or three dollars. You can get them off of Amazon or you can get them off of Wet n Wild as well. I really like these. So I'm just gonna take a couple of these shades here. Um, so I'm probably just gonna use like the peach color here and tap off the excess. Oh, it's very pigmented for real, look at that. Very pigmented. And I don't know what kind of uh, look I'm gonna create. Again, I just do this stuff freehanded. I just go in with it and just create a look. All right, I think I'm gonna take me another brush and I'm gonna dip into the brown and see what I can create with that. And if you hear anything in the background that is my heat kicking on, it is very cold here. Very, very cold here. We're about to have like a winter blast here like next week. So I think we're gonna get down to like negative one, one night. So yeah, it's very cold here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this brown here and go on top of that color that I just used.
So I like that color. It's like a little chocolate brown. It's a pretty color. I like that. And it's very pigmented. I like it. And then I'm going to go back uh, with that wet and wild brush. And I don't want to lose that transition color. So I'm just going to dip into these two colors here. I'm just run it lightly on the back. There's that, and I'm debating if I want to take this black color here and use like a wing eyeliner with my shadow. We might do that. Let's try that. Practice makes perfect. So I think that looks pretty good and I'm not using any elf liner tapes or anything like that. So, you know, I, like I said, practice makes perfect. I'm not a pro. I'm not a makeup artist or anything like that. I just love playing with makeup, but I know that the more that you practice with it, the better you become. So, but hey, I think I did pretty good on this. All my makeup lovers out there, do you guys like the long, you know, beauty videos or do you guys just like the little short get ready with me let me know me personally i like watching the long form you know videos because you get to see what they're doing you know and they're taking their time you know and some things you know they're sped up a little bit but i like watching it because i like to see how it you know transforms i like watching the whole thing so but i know everybody is different I'm thinking I'm probably just going to take a couple, oop, almost dropped it. I'm probably going to take a couple of these shimmers here. I don't know if you can, well, you can see them, but there's a couple shimmers here, like this color here, and then there's another one up here. They don't have the names on them, but they're really pretty. I'm thinking about just putting that like in the middle of my eyelid. I'm going to try a brush, and then if that doesn't work, then I'm going to use my fingers and see if that'll, you know, make it pop a little bit more. So I'm just going to take me a little uh, flat ended brush, like a pack on brush here. And I'm just going to use these two colors or dip into these two colors and see. Okay. So with this, as usual, dip and spray. So I'm going to go ahead and dip back into these shadows here, these shimmers. And we're going to spray the brush and pack it on. It's showing up a little bit. I think I'm gonna try and use my finger and see if I can make it show up a little bit more. Let me see here. Yeah, see, fingers, if your brush isn't working, just use your fingers and it seems to make it pop a little bit more. 
And I see that I may have to go back in with my shadow and do that wing liner again. Or, you know, uh, use the brush and redo it a little bit. But it looks really nice. I really like those colors together. It looks really pretty. And then we're going to go ahead and do that on the next eye as well. So I'll start it off again with the brush and then I'll go back in, use my fingers to place that on my eyelids. And I'm going to go ahead and go back over with the shadow with my pencil brush and just uh, run over that real quick. Okay, and then next I'm going to use my lashes. I do have the I Envy uh, So Wispy Lashes. So it may be a form of kiss, but these are the lashes here. So this is what I'm gonna use today. Um, I really like these lashes. Kiss, Kiss is one of my favorite lashes. And I have some other lashes in here too. Um, but today I'm gonna use these. So I will be right back. I'm going to apply my lashes and then we'll go ahead and come back and do the rest of the face. Okay, so we're back. Um, the lashes are on. I'm not for sure how I feel about these lashes here. They're cute, um, but I don't know. They just seem kind of more dramatic for me, but I like them. They're cute. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and put this um, Il Maquillage Primer on. So I do have this primer here. I'm going to use that today. Just switching up the primer a little bit, you know, trying out other things. The only thing about this one is it's like silicone. So like the texture is kind of silicone. I'm not really into these type of primers. I like the other ones that you can, you know, there's kind of thicker um, and they're not silicone, but we'll go ahead and use this. We'll go ahead and switch it up today. It's like balling up on my face. I have a lot of glitter on my face right now from my eyeshadow, but it's, it's all right. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit in for a moment and we'll see how it does, you know, with my foundation. Hopefully it doesn't ball up or anything like that. In the meantime, while that's um, sitting on the skin, I'm still using my Ciate London um, eye brightener. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on my under eyes. Okay, so that is on. And then today for foundation, I'm gonna switch it up some. I am using the Uma Beauty um, foundation. I have the shade T4, so that's what that looks like. I have the shade T4. Hopefully this you know, works on my skin tone, we'll see. Um, and then for foundation, for a foundation brush, let me see here, my e.l.f. foundation brush. Yeah, so this is the e.l.f. blending brush. I'm gonna use this, and I'm just gonna spray a couple pumps on here. Actually, no, I'm just gonna put it on my finger. Okay, so the color looks a little light, um, but we'll see what happens. This seems kind of watery almost. 
I'm putting in two pumps on my face. So we're gonna see what happens. And it does look a little light, but we'll go ahead and work with it. So I would say this is more of like a mm, light to medium coverage. I would say maybe medium buildable maybe. So yeah, I would say like maybe medium coverage. It's definitely not full coverage, but it's still a pretty color. It's a pretty foundation. This is my first time ever trying, you know, this type of brand or this brand. I know it's from Walmart. I've never tried it before. Um, and I have some products that are coming in. So I'll be doing some reviews on that here shortly. Just waiting for them to come in. Some new releases. But yeah, as far as the foundation goes, it's a pretty color. It's not too bad. Um, but again, it's like light to medium. I'd say medium, medium to buildable. You probably have to put like a couple more pumps on there. And just because it's so light, I'm gonna put one more pump on my face. I know it's a lot, but for the sake of the video, why not? Just to build it up a little bit more. I like full coverage, guys. I like full coverage, so. Being that it's light coverage, I'm building it up. Now I don't like cake face, but I do like full coverage. So you see it? It looks really pretty. It does look kind of yellow on camera a little bit, but, and it could be the lighting too. Sometimes the lights wash me out, but yeah, it looks really pretty. I like the color. All right, so we're gonna go ahead in with concealer. I'm trying to decide which one I want to use. I'm just going to go back in with my um, L'Oreal Infallible Concealer, the fresh wear here. And this one is in 400 caramel. All right, and we're gonna let that sit on here for a couple minutes and then we will blend that out. So I will be right back. We're gonna let this sit and then we'll go ahead and blend that out. Okay, so now that that's set in for a couple minutes, we're gonna go ahead and blend it out. So again, I'm just using my Sephora brush and I'm just gonna blend out the concealer. What I like to do is blend out the concealer and then go back with my foundation brush and then blend out my concealer again with the foundation brush. That way there's not like a contrast from like your under eye, you know, over in this area. So I like to just blend it out together. But that's just me, you know, like I said, I'm not a makeup artist, do what works for you. So that's just what I find. That way it blends in, you know, better with your foundation. And we're gonna get ready to go ahead and set the under eyes. So I'm still using my translucent powder from Timu. That I'm still using it. It's good, it's really good. All right. 
right, so we went ahead and set the under eyes. Now we're gonna go ahead and set the face. And give me just a moment here. And this one, this is the e.l.f. powder brush. I use this to set my face with like translucent powders. So. And just pounce it in there. Or you can just poke your eyeball out like I just did. You can just poke your eyeball and see where that gets you to. I'm just kidding, that's part of makeup. But yeah, I just poked my eye. So there's that. And I do have it all over me, no big deal. So we did that. And then we're gonna go ahead and set the face again. And then we're gonna do um, bronzer, blush, and highlight. So go ahead and set the face. I'm just gonna go ahead and use that, the Wet n Wild 3-in-1 um, Fixer Primer. So we're just gonna go ahead and set the face again. That spray is something fierce. You can even see it on my forehead. It like splotches on my forehead from the setting spray. But it's still pretty. But I like these um, Wet n Wild setting sprays because they're cheap. I think they're like maybe like five or six dollars. And I know they have a few of these. I think they have coconut, cucumber, and rose. Um, these are some really good setting sprays though. So there's that. All right, so then we're gonna go in with bronzer. Um, with bronzer, I'm gonna switch it up today too. Um, I'm gonna use that Believe Beauty bronzer. Um, I got that from the dollar store. And this is in the shade Golden Sienna. So that is the color there. I'm hoping it'll show up on my skin. I'm gonna try and make it show up. So let's see here. I'm really digging into the bronzer, really pressing in on the bronzer to see if it'll show. Okay, now it's showing now, but I like really have to go ham with it in order for it to show. You see that? So I'm gonna blend it out, don't worry. And it doesn't look too, I mean, it looks good, but it kind of looks muddy at the same time. That's what they call muddy, like when it's looking like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out with the foundation brush and tone that down a little bit. You see, so it just toned it down just like that. That's the good thing with like, when you have product left over, you can use it to try and tone it down and it'll work. So that's that, but it's still pretty. And then as far as blush goes, <clears throat> I'm gonna use an oldie but goodie. And that is going to be the BH Cosmetics uh, Glowing and Glowing in Grease palette. Um, so th these are the brushes here. As you can see, I've hit pan on all these. These, you know, these are the jam. I love these. Um, one of my favorite palettes. Stay with me, I'm trying to find my blush brush. Okay. So I'm just gonna go, I'm probably just gonna take these last two colors here and just put it on. So there's that. So as you can see, the blush is pigmented as well. So there's that. And then for as highlighter, for as, as far as highlighter, um, I'm switching that up as well. I have this, it's called All You Need Is Love. Um, it's from Lithus. And this is an illuminating kit. And these are the colors here. I think these are really pretty. So we're gonna use that today. And let me take my highlighting brush. I'm gonna dip probably into, you know what, we'll just mix all of them and see what I can create. So I'm just gonna mix them all. Why not? I'm 
Very pretty. Very, very pretty. You see that? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and move over to the next side. I'm loving this color, y'all. This, this is very pretty. You won't see me out there wearing it like this, but it's very pretty, very, very pretty, nice and icy. So we'll go ahead and do the next side. Can you imagine if I sprayed my brush? If I sprayed my brush, it would be even more brighter than that. But we'll go ahead and do the next side. And I'll do it again because I did that one twice. Love it. That is so pretty. Um, then I always put it above my eyelid, near my eyebrow, my brow bone. That's what I do. I like that because it just, when you're, you know, when you're walking or when you're talking, you're shining, you know? So that's what I like to do. That's just me. I do what works for you. So that is this palette here. Very pigmented, very pretty. I love it. All right, and I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to leave it like this for the video. I'm not going nowhere. So, hey, may as well. Hmm. All right. So now um, I am going to use my LA Girl Gel Liner, Glad On Liner, and I'm just going to do the um, lower lash line. All right, so eyeliner is on. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to line the lower lash line and I'm just gonna use some of this eyeshadow here. Um, I think I'm gonna mix the, let me see what colors am I gonna mix? Maybe the orange and then brown um, down on the lower lash line. We'll see. That brown is so pigmented, it's almost black. Don't worry, I will be blending that out here in just a moment. That is super pigmented. I'm actually gonna go back in with that black because I feel like I lost some color. I lost my wing. All right, so there's that. Okay, and I'm just gonna blend out these. Um, I'm just gonna blend out the lower lash line. Trying to make it that thick, but it's cute. But I'm trying to make it that thick. All right, all right. So the lower lash line is blended now. So that's that. We're gonna put on the mascara on the lower lash line. Again, you know what? No. I was going to use Essence, but I'll go ahead and switch it up, being that I'm switching up everything else. Let me switch up Essence today. Let's use Iconic London. So we're going to use Iconic London today. I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. Don't mind the setting powder. All right. So we'll go ahead and put this on. It's kind of gloopy. Clumpy. I hope you guys can see me putting that on. I'm sorry if not. Let me move my mirror out. See, and I can't stop making these facial expressions when I'm doing my lower lash line. So lower lash line is done with a different mascara. All right, so we did that. And then we're gonna do eyebrows and we're gonna do lips. And I believe this look is going to be completed. So 
Okay, let me get my eyebrow pencil. Y'all can see I'm warming up, huh? All right, so I'm gonna get this eyebrow pencil. Again, I'm using the Wonder Upgraded Brows Pencil and Gel Duo Crown, and I got this in a boxy charm, and I love it. I love this bad boy. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on. It's just like the perfect color. And I don't put on, you know, too much. I just put on a little bit. Like I said, I'm not. I don't put on too much. I just put on a little bit. I don't do much with eyebrows, but this one really makes a difference. I like it. It's really pretty. All right. This one looks darker than the other one. That's as good as it's gonna get. That's as good as it is gonna get. Whatever. It's as good as it's gonna get. I ain't doing no more and I'm not doing no less. But let me see something. I think there's a brush on this other end. What is this? Yes, there's a brush. Let me brush this through. I've never used this, I don't think. Some gel or something. Like I said, I'm not a pro with eyebrows. I do not know what I'm doing. I'm just putting it on. There we go. There we go. I like it. All right, so there's that, guys. Now I'm going to put on my lips. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I always start my videos with this um, Essence Extreme Shine Lip Gloss, and it's in clear. This is the best lip gloss ever. Okay. Oh. It. but yeah this is it right here um this is the best lip gloss ever like it's moisturizing it doesn't stick to your lips you don't get that separation in your lips and your mouth or anything like that it's not sticky so yeah this is the best lip gloss ever um but let me see here lips we are going to use i don't really have much lipsticks guys i need to get some so I'm just gonna use my Sol Janeiro lipstick. And this one is in Soulmate. I don't even have to look at the bottom anymore. This stuff, it's it's really nice and it's really pigmented and it smells so good. It smells like chocolate. It smells like, yeah, it's like a chocolate cookie. It smells good. All right, so there's that. I think that blends in perfectly with my sweater. And then, oh, you know what? I forgot one more thing. One more thing that we need to do is to set my face. So I've already set my face, yes, but I need to apply my finishing powders. So we are still going to use the CoverGirl Outlast, and this is in uh, Natural Tan. So I am going to use that. So I'm going to use that on my face. And just a moment here. And I'm just doing a light dusting on this. And then after that one, then I'm going to take my Fit Me uh, Maybelline New York powder. Again, you guys know this is my jam. I'm gonna use this here and I'm just gonna set my under eyes. All right. And I always go down like my nose just a little bit. So that is it, guys. This completes the look. This is just a basic get ready with me glam. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. There is new releases that are coming that I will be doing here shortly. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Again, more content is coming. I hope you guys are having an awesome week, an awesome day. Happy New Year again. And as always, stay blessed.